guys, it's Mara. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change a quick light electrolyte sensor um, on a Dimension EXL, or this one is actually a Dimension Expand Plus. It has one less wheel, but the electrolyte part is the same. So, what you'll need is a new sensor. Um, some gel check and you'll need patient serum or plasma to what they call dirty the sensor or get it ready for patients. So you'll go to your screen. Here's what ours looks like. Um, as you can see, the quick light sensor is due to be changed, and I just did the IMT bleach and condition soap which is due once a month. So first of all we're going to enter the sensor number. So that's 6 L D K 8 0 and then press enter and then it shows I changed it. So we'll go back to here. You want to push this back button and they'll kind of pop out. It's better if I had two hands. And then you want to take the sensor out like this. Now you don't really want to touch any part of the sensor, um, especially the back part where the little prongs are, since that's what reads the electrolyte. So, be careful, just try to touch the sides. I just kind of take it out here. I'm going to have it facing in this direction. I'm going to place it in here. And then until it snaps. Now don't forget to put back down the lid, otherwise your top lid up here won't close. So, now I will Store the changes, don't forget to do that, otherwise it won't save that you change the sensor. Okay, now that they've been stored, it'll prime the salt bridge solution, and that just takes a few seconds, and then it'll ask for your patient plasma and your dill check. Okay, so here we go, and you want to put what position you start um, with, with which cup and if you're doing just the dill check or the conditioning sample which you want to do both at first if one uh, if the dill check doesn't pass then you can rerun just the dill check instead of the conditioning sample again too. So now I put the patient plasma in cup A and in earth in spot one and then in spot two I'm going to put the still check on rack A. So now that that's done, you want to make sure you close the lid and place it on the instrument. So I'll put, I start at position A1 and then I will press F4 because I want both the condition and the dill check. And it'll show you that condition is in spot one, dill check is in spot two. Then all you have to do is press F5 to start. And close everything up. And it will show that the IMT is not calibrated, so it'll run the dill check and then it'll calibrate. Now, once the calibration and the IMT, dil IMT dilution check are done, and the calibration will print off and it will give you the air and liquid and the uh, sodium, potassium, and chloride values. And then for the dilution check, it will either say the status, pass or fail, and for our threshold, the bias has to be less than 1%. So this passed because it was 0.81%. So 
So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.